Hey everybody, this is Rex Buchanan, and this is part two of my Black & Decker drill upgrade. I have replaced the laptop batteries that were in here with two LG HE2 35 amp batteries, the same kind that I was using in the little two-pack for my RC car. Uh, like I said, these have 35 amp, a lot better to run this drill than the laptop batteries. And I've already had this together and tested it out, and let me tell you, it works great. Um, this originally came with five of these batteries. They're 1.5 volt C cells, uh, nickel cadmium, the old style. There was five of them, but it had one dead cell. So it would charge up and it would say that it was getting the full voltage off these four. But whenever you hit the trigger, it didn't have all five cells pushing the power through it to give it enough power to run. And uh, I thought my drill was gone, but I decided I would experiment with those lithium ion batteries from the laptop. And that worked. So I went ahead and put these in here today. I rewired the power plug, uh, the charge charge port, from right here on this board to around behind here into the positive, oh, and the negative. And I've also uh, wired the power wires for the drill into here. And if you'll notice, there's a couple wires. It's going up into there. Let's see if it'll focus in. And there's a little circuit board. What I've done is cut a little square out of the gel. There was this thing just slides in and out. And just enough room to barely hide that LED. So I uh, didn't want it to be on all the time and run down the battery. I just needed to know how much voltage was in there. And I figured out that if I wired it, this is a three-way switch, forward and reverse and neutral. So I wired the positive to the forward and the negative to the neutral. So whenever I partially depress the switch, Get me a voltage reading. And of course, then I hit the trigger. You can see how much voltage that's pulling out of this thing, so it's really powering the drill. So this thing back together and I'll get right back to you. Well, here it is all back together and it's perfectly used condition. Uh, I do believe it reads this direction. Yeah, there we go. I'm barely pushing the trigger there, getting the voltage reading. Push the trigger. Voltage drop to a lot of special amounts through there. See it pick up some. That's what they do once they start leveling out. doesn't get in the way of holding this all that much. I'd like to say if you were to use your finger right there for some reason, but uh, also if you're needing to do like this, it doesn't get in the way of the thumb. I kind of thought that out a little bit. 
So, yep, there it is. I was going to hook it up to the LED here, but it has a little bit of circuitry to it that limits the switch to two volts even. So, that wasn't any good. So, all this would read is two volts. So, I guess uh, let's open her up here. Oh, wrong button. Yeah, I'm coordinated today, folks. It's three position. And whenever you open it all the way up, there's a charge port. And I cut the end up of what it claimed was a six volt charger. But whenever you looked at the box, I don't know where I've set the the power box for it but it says it's a nine volt and the battery's only added up to six volt so well anyway that's not important i made myself an adapter where i can plug it in with the dean's plug to my charger i try really hard there we go This is a IMAX B6 LiPro balance charger. And it only cost me 30 bucks off of eBay. But this thing is really, really nice. It does the job just fine. It has all kinds of options on it. You ought to check them out somewhere. You should do a review, Rex. Okay, well, one of these days. Let me use it a little bit longer. All right, that plugs into there. And those two batteries that were in here were lithium-ion 18650 size. Uh, seven, no, 3.7 volt. Nope, they're lithium-ion. 3.6 volts a piece. And I had them hooked in series, so their voltage doubled. And now they're 7.2 volt battery inside of a 6 volt system, but it's okay. Uh... And both the batteries were 2,500 milliamp hours, 2,500 ma. So, that's an explanation of the batteries. Let's do this charger thing here. I've got it set. Lithium ion charge, 7.2 volt, 2S, which means it's 2 cell, which means that the total voltage adds up from 3.6 to 2, uh, to uh, 7.2. That's why they call it two cell. No matter how many batteries you got in there, you, if you've got uh, two batteries, even just just two cells, like I have, that makes it a two cell because the voltages have doubled. Uh, you start adding more batteries in it, and then you go into uh, you know bigger bigger cells, three cells, four cells. Plus, you can have multiple cell, two cell batteries. I've got a video on where I've... Well, anyway, I'm starting to ramble. Let's just do this. <laughs> uh, get it charged in there. Let it check. Confirm that it's a two cell, two series. And it takes the voltage up to 8.2 and sustains it, which is the maximum charge voltage. I started off at 1 amp. Since it's already got some voltage in it, it's just already dropped it down one tenth of an amp to 900 milliamp hours or 0.9 amp hours. So it looks like the charge is working. I was going to put a protection circuit in there uh, to protect the batteries, but this. It is set up for two series, uh, a two S. Uh, so I don't know if you can read that two uh, sector. I'm not gonna sit here and go focus, focus, focus. <laughs> but anyway, it says two S on there. It's a 7.4 volt protection circuit. It's been uh, dipped in corrosion X. So I could throw this in a bucket of water. 
and it'll still work even under the water but anyway this is only a I think 6 amp protection board and those batteries are 35 amp I tried to hook it up but it just wouldn't work so that's out of the question but I do have the voltage checker on here which will let me keep a close eye on the voltage so there's not very much chance of me accidentally leaving this on or the LED running the battery down running the battery down while I'm not watching so it's almost always in the off position off constant unless you hit one of the switches and anytime I hit the switch forward like I said it'll let me know how much is there you can see it's charging it's already gone up three tenths um, so yeah this is my updated uh, lithium ion drill repair see it but it jumps whenever I hit the trigger. Let me try it one handed. I can't really see it. So anyway, thanks for watching folks. And uh, I got me some new batteries and I'm gonna stick into transmitter for my remote control I already had a set in there but I accidentally left it on and ruined one of the cells but now I have the protection protective circuits and the LED readouts so I'm gonna drill a hole somewhere in here and put the LED readout and uh, that'll be the next project once again thanks for watching